Hello and welcome to your team brick. In today's video is another um, interesting launch vehicle design. And as you can see as the uh, vehicle incredibly slowly lifts off the pad, uh, the, the, the uh, thrust weight ratio is only I believe a 1.11 at uh, launch. Yeah, I, I've returned with a, a flyback uh, booster design. This is most prominent in the Energia 2 uh, concept, where the uh, four as uh, neat derived uh, side uh, uh, side boosters would detach and deploy uh, these uh, deploy uh, wings and glide back to a runway, and that's why I've modeled here. Well, it's only loosely based on that, and it's swing wing design. The wing literally rotates 90 degrees. And that causes some aerodynamic issues early on in flight, which uh, you may see from how uh, poorly the vehicle was flown. And well, the wing that is about to be deployed as we've uh, staged. I'm using a flight manager for recovery of stages. That's the uh, mod. Well, that's the mod that allows me to uh, uh, recover the booster while uh, continuing on with the uh, payload, and we'll be able to uh, get that safely into orbit uh, later on. But yes, using a CAL controller, I'm able to deploy the control surfaces. And I now need a panic and try to get the wing locked in place, because if it isn't, that's gonna cause issues. And now, early on in the descent, um, our aerodynamics, well, there isn't much air, so our center of like lift doesn't have as much of an influence as it normally does. And so we tumble out of control. And so I'm desperately trying to gain control, and um, we're already quite far away from the Kerbal Space Center, and are only continuing to uh, not head towards land. Now about uh, 7 kilometers, I'm able to uh, get some control before rapidly spinning out. It's only around uh, 4 kilometers that I actually uh, am actually able to uh, fully gain control of this. At that point, it's uh, too far away to uh, return to the space center. And so, while the uh, landing gear uh, deploy, yeah, no, it's gonna be a water landing. So yeah, that's why it's uh, mild, uh, mildly successful. Because, well, as you'll see pretty soon, we recovered the booster in one piece, but um, I planned on landing it on land, but uh, due to a uh, time uh, restriction, Due to time construction, like due to time constraints, finally figured out what word I was gonna say there. And uh, basically, this was not my first idea for a video. I had received something else, and that didn't end up working. But anyways, yeah. So this concept, it can definitely be developed further and improved. But I mean, we've got the booster back safely, and we can continue to fly the upper stage into orbit. Maybe we can talk some more about the actual design of this vehicle. So yeah, it's a 1.875 meter diameter core. And the, the first stage uses a two NK33 engines from Cantaris. This stage uses a, a skiff from uh, Making History. And we can deploy the satellite. It's one of the small probes from Blue Dog Design Bureau. And yeah, the rotation of the wing was done with... Uh, uh, breaking the ground uh, servos. And so I want to uh, thank you for watching. Again, I realize this. I've had some uh, shorter videos lately. Uh, sorry about that. But yeah, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And goodbye!